WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets in positive territory, but pretty dramatically off the highs we had earlier in the session. Right now, you're looking at S&Ps positive by 12 points, trading at 28.19. Dow Jones positive 118 points, trading at 25,635. And the NASDAQ positive by 49, trading at 76.86. Notes and bonds, slightly lower price, higher yield 10-year note, negative three ticks, 124.07. 30-year bond, also negative three ticks, trading at 148.29. Oil having quite a day, up over a dollar, buck 04, trading at 59.87. And the euro, trading 112.89, and that dollar up 97 ticks, trading at 96.165. We'll start it off. Let's take a look at the futures. So as I had stated, we're in positive territory, but we have the Dow up more than 150 points from where we're currently trading. Early in the session, highs made right at about 11 a.m. Eastern time, 25,819, like I said, more than 150 points down from that level, right where we were trading at for most of the overnight session. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. We trade higher for most of the early. Highs for the NASDAQ 100 at 10 a.m., 74.46. You're not talking about almost 60 points from that level, trading 73.88. S&Ps reach a high at 11 a.m., 28.34. We're currently about 15 S&P points below that level, trading 28.19. Crude oil traded higher for most of the overnight session. Crude reaches high at about 10 a.m. this morning of $60.36. Currently right under that $60 price point, $59.95. We'll get the API number for crude three and a half hours from right now, 4.30 Eastern time. Gold contract trading 13.15.03. And as we said, euro trading 112.87. So in terms of what else you have happening out there, Apple, their big announcement yesterday with their new streaming service. You had their stock declining yesterday to jump in. We had Apple shares, have Apple shares, back in the positive today. Whether that's have to do with the market or whatnot, there's yesterday's action climbing all the way down to a low about 187.40. From there, we're back above 190. And one of the other stocks in the news today, you have an analyst coming out and saying Roku won't see much revenue upside from Apple TV because of a variety of factors. But nonetheless, Roku down almost 3%, 64.95. Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien at 3. Have a great Tuesday, everybody.